Hey guys, it's Phil, and I have a quick tip for those of you who are starting to learn Japanese.、Uh, you may be learning how to read it and how to speak it, and maybe even how to write it by hand. But if you're, having,、uh, if you're American and you have an English keyboard or something, you may be wondering how can I type it? And so, how that works is that you need an IME, which is an input method editor. And there's one for Windows that comes you know, built into、uh, Windows, but it's not quite as good. The one I actually prefer is made by Google. And so you can get it、uh, either for Chinese or Japanese, of course, but、uh, get it from google.com slash IME and just click the Google Japanese input. And the page is all in Japanese, but it doesn't really matter. All you have to know is to click the Windows button down here, and it will download it.、Uh, you have to agree to the terms of service here, and then it'll just download and you install it. And then it's pretty much good to go. It's pretty simple.、Uh, once you have it installed, You'll see a small ENG down by the clock on your taskbar, and you just want to click that, and then you can choose Japanese. Or, an easier method is to just hold the Windows key and press spacebar, and that will switch it to Japanese.、Uh, the trick is that you may still see a letter A down there instead of actually typing in Japanese. So, Uh, I've switched it now and I start typing, but it's still showing English letters. So, if you see the little letter A on there or something, you'll want to click it, or sometimes you can just press Alt and Shift, and that will switch it、uh, back to Hiragana as well. And once you've got it activated,、uh, it's easy to, to type. Any kind of Japanese words, as long as you can say it,、uh, you can just type it in Romaji,、uh, like su, shi, and there you go. Now, suppose you want to type a word in katakana,、uh, like my name, Phil.、Uh, you would type f i r u, so it comes out as firu, and then you'll press spacebar and you get it in Romaji. And you get more options too. So if I type my last name, it comes out as Noran.、Okay, and you can press down, and you'll get a ton of op other options in case you want to write it some other way. So I'm just going to keep it like that. Uh, and again, so if you want to write it in kanji, again, so say we have sak sakura, and can press space, and we get it in kanji. Or again, sakura, press down, and you get to the different options. And so that's pretty much it for typing. Now, suppose you have a kanji that you don't know how to type it, then you can actually draw it. If you right click on the、uh, character on,、uh, next to your clock, you'll get an option called handwriting. And it pops up, and you get this little space here where you can actually draw the character you're looking for. So. Of course, you can draw hiragana characters like that, and then just pick the one you want and press clear. And if you want kanji characters, of course, you can draw those as well. And that's pretty much it. There are definitely some other options, and of course, there are a ton of fonts you can use. And I found it doesn't always work in all programs, such as my, my Twitter program.、Uh, I don't think it works in there, but it does work in Photoshop. And like I said, there's、uh, lots of different、uh, fonts you can choose from. And I will leave some links in the description to some websites where you can download some free Japanese fonts. 
And that's it. Uh, if you liked this video, give me a thumbs up. And I'd love to hear a comment below. <laughs> I love to see those. All right, and talk to you next time.